So, my Tuesday ran, apparently. Um, why y'all do is always be trying to tell me stop being mean and I can get a man. Y'all don't realize a man is the easiest thing to get. Oh, and y'all say I'm being mean because I don't know loyalty, consistency, not lying, and not being on no bullshit or playing games is basically me not accepting for less, and that's being mean. Hmm. That's funny. That's crazy. Y'all, y'all, y'all done set the status so goddamn low out here in these streets. It's a shame. But baby, baby, a man the easiest damn thing to get. I don't want one. I don't want them. You good. I'm going to keep being mean. I'm going to keep having my bar set real, real, real high. Um, and and y'all not being able to reach it. It is what it is. You don't like it? Don't bother me, boo. Dating in your 40s after divorce is like, yo, babe, age is nothing but a number. Yes, honey, that's what I said when I was 19, too. All right, single women, do you know what we're not going to do in 2021? Settle. Let me tell you why. There is someone who was made to love you. There is someone who was made to adore you and cherish you. There is someone out there who will support your dreams. There is someone out there you will build a life with. There is someone you will just fall over in laughter with, okay? We are not going to settle for bare minimum. God has something so much bigger for us in store, and we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Be patient. It's worth it, y'all. It's worth the wait. So if you're looking for a sign, this is it. Good morning, TikTok. It's asshole coffee talk time. I was uh, making fun of myself being on the clearance rack in the dating market. And most of the comments were fun and funny and encouraging. But this asshat had to put this out there. I don't know what he's trying to say, but American women? Hmm. Go ahead. Try to date a Canadian. See if she'll put up with your shit. Try to date somebody from the UK. See if she'll put up with your shit. What do you not like about us? That we don't put up with your shit? That we own our own homes? That we have our own jobs? That we stand up for ourselves with comments like this? Anybody in the European Union is not going to tolerate this shit either. So, have fun dating whoever. I am back for my date. It's nine, so that's not bad. Um, I went with what everybody kind of suggested, which was number three with the jeans from one and two. Um, He was nice, he showed up, he drove two hours for our date and we went out to dinner. He opened my door, he was respectful, he did all the right things. Um, Just not it. And he lives two hours away and it turns out like he runs the company nationally, so he travels all the time. Like, all the time. So he lives two hours away, he has kids, which is normally great, but he literally runs the company at a national level. Which is great, I like ambitious people, but I know how much those people travel. So he was in Vegas this week, just got back today, and is leaving already on Monday, it's impossible like it is simply impossible to see each other at a level that i want from my oh no yesterday my divorce has been finalized and honestly that hurts like my ex-husband is an amazing man and i never went into marriage thinking it was going to end so the fact that it's now officially done it's been a lot and that was on top of what was already a bad week. You know, I found out I'd been made redundant. I reached out to the situationship guy, which was stupid. I don't know. I thought maybe it might make me feel better. It didn't, so I had to go back to no contact. So when you're going through shit, just know it is okay to not be okay. And mm. I really struggle with rejection. And so this is just another thing that I'm going to have to process. And 
when life feels like it's falling apart, it does give you the opportunity to rebuild it again. So just know if you're going through shit. As a single mother, your value as a woman is less than somebody who does not have kids. If you're looking for that long-term relationship, which you've said you are, looking for a guy who's like at, at your age or older, the men who will be looking for what you're looking for aren't looking for you. They're looking for women who are much younger than you and who do not have kids. Do you understand that? Well, you seem to think that every woman is exactly the same, but I'm not the same kind of person as the woman you're talking about. I don't have an IQ of 100. I'm not a moron. I'm fairly attractive. I don't think... I think I'm going to have an issue. And what I did decide was that I would rather be by myself. My concern wasn't a hypergamy. I'm going to go find someone older, wiser, smarter, better, richer, and do that. I just figured, hey, I'll just hunker down and work. At least I'll be happier by myself. It's really interesting to note that, you know, especially within the States, but just in general, the research actually has depicted that women in their 40s is the most unhappiest age group out there think about that the unhappiest age group in all of the world predominantly we're talking about the states right now is women in their 40s that's one in four americans which is crazy that's 25 percent of the population are women in their 40s and they're the unhappiest group out there and it's just absolutely scary and it's appalling and you have to ask yourself why is that and at the end of the day the number one reason why well there could be many reasons why, actually. But one of them, as I mentioned beforehand, is it's really all about e-commerce. It's about the pharmaceutical industries. It's about really just making money. It's a multi-million dollar business for the, for the most part. Welcome back, Tribe. I have one here from FBE Capital. Why older women are getting desperate when dating, huh? Hmm? Get into it. I love his edit. this isn't proof, that it's totally okay not to be married by 30. I'm in the Sahara Desert with 18 incredible women about to go ride camels in the sunset. I'm um, just having a really hard day. You know, trying to get ready. That women tend to be happier when they are single. I could have married a lot of the people that I've dated. Okay, I turned 40 this year and I've never been in love. I've never been in a relationship. If you hear something, or an update about your ex and it just kills you. Women tend to be happier, <laughs> ha ha happier when they are single. Struggling financially, being <laughs> alone, having no one there to talk to as you age, you know, no kids. And I always thought I would have kids. I thought I would be married by now. And now I, the closer I get to it and I'm scared. I don't, I don't know. I didn't think it would be an issue of 32 years old. I'm 53. I would like to think that I'm still young, right? The fact that you're 40 and single, still with no children, and now you find out that she's eight weeks pregnant, and you so want to feel happy for her, but inside, inside you feel so sad. Ha ha happier when they are single. I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies, and... You know that at 40, you are running out of time and soon you won't have a choice at all. No choice at all. That should really be the slogan of this generation's feminist because Beautiful. all of this screaming I don't need a man is starting to have some real world consequences and it's not Beautiful. pretty. I also feel like I'm getting older and it's like I have to put some effort into dating or I'm just going to be alone forever but now I'm just honestly getting to the point where I'm just going to be the single aunt. I'm gonna be a corporate girly. I don't want to climb the ladder. I don't want to be a boss babe. I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to be the breadwinner. I do not want to do that. You know what I want to do? I want to be home. And I'm just wondering, am I the only person like completely struggling? Am I the only one? Because I've been single a very long time. I'm 28 years old, I have a degree, I'm not doing anything with that degree currently. I just want to live comfortably and be happy and have the time to pursue my hobbies and my passions outside of work. <laughs> I mean, she's basically describing being a stay-at-home mom with a small side business, allowing her to do whatever she loves to do. But she's not getting it. I feel like there's gotta be jobs that I'm just not thinking of. And so telling women to press pause on having a family or finding a man might sound great in theory, but it does not work out in real life. 
That's all for today on Alpha Male. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications. You can support the channel by becoming a member or sending a super chat. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you tomorrow.